everyone, I'm Sal Sankata, and today we are here on location with Westcott. Uh, we've got a two light set up here in a gorgeous location. We're in the woods, uh, it's undisclosed. They had to put me in a trunk to get me here, but hey, we want a unique location, so here we are. Uh, and to light this scene, uh, we've got two lights, right? Nothing fancy. One light is an Octabox on my, uh, on my right, and then on my left is a strip light. It's a one by two. Uh, these are both switches so that we can use them with interchangeably with other lights. Uh, but what we're doing here is we want a key light so that we're gonna light uh, her face, and then we want an edge light uh, to light the back and create some separation. Now, there's uh, two shots I want here. One is gonna be wide, one is gonna be tight, but let's get to it. Let's show you how it's done. All right, so for the first shot, we used a 24 millimeter lens, uh, and you saw I took a really low vantage point. And uh, my goal in my head was we've got all these vertical lines here uh, that are driving us up and down in the frame. And so with Brooke, I wanted to do something more angular, right? She's very tall, she's got long limbs. I didn't want it to be straight for this shot. And so the posing became as important a piece of this final image uh, as the lighting was. Uh, so you saw me directing her and really paying attention to how her legs were. We had one up higher than the other, how her arms were, where they were, where her chin was. All these things matter in getting everything to look and just feel balanced uh, in a shot. Now, I will tell you, when I first started, I only had one light. So we started with an Okta, but you can even see behind me right now, I can see the shadows. I'm being lit with natural light, but that light was going in and out. So I wanted that edge light uh, to really create some separation uh, on her. And so you're noticing that I'm using two lights where I started with one, and that was by design because I wanna control that final image. And again, as I'm talking to you, the sun just went away, so I'm losing that edge light, and it becomes very important for that final image and to create separation from the background. So for the next shot, I want something tighter, so I'm gonna jump to my 85 millimeter lens. Let's get to that shot. All right, everybody, so that is a wrap. Our final shot was with an 85 millimeter. I was shooting wide open uh, because I wanted that shallow depth of field. We had two lights. One is our key light. Uh, we had the Octabox, it's a 36 inch uh, switch. Uh, and then of course the, um, the uh, edge light was a one by two soft box, yet again, a switch. Uh, and again, I can't stress enough, this is to create something that's interchangeable with all your strobes. Whether you're using speed lights, strobes, uh, you wanna have something that you buy once uh, and can use again and again, no matter what type of lights you have. But let's talk about something here. Uh, we produced two completely different shots. One was very kind of environmental, editorial feeling, big wide shot, big angles. We had her off in a third. Uh, and then the other shot was more of a portrait with my 85 millimeter lens 1.2. So giving us two completely different looks without ever moving Brooke. Uh, and I think that's important to understand. We don't have to start running all around. I see photographers do it all the time. They're like, we can go over here. We can go over here. Just stay still and change your lighting, change your posing, change your lenses, and that will give you an incredible shot. So tell us, sound off down below. Tell us which one you liked best. Hopefully uh, you liked one of them. Uh, they didn't all suck to you. But uh, tell us which one you like. Sound off, and I'll be in the comments with you. We'll see what you think.